Ow! Sink, will you? Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to try to make a video about needs. Now, um, the reason why I say try is because this camera does not work at all. I swear, it pisses me off so much. What is a neat? All right, you're probably asking, what the hell is a neat? And for the off chance that you don't know what a neat is, I'll give it to you with a very basic acronym description of it. Not in employment, education, or training. This also refers to someone who is a leech. Now, there's, it's a kind of subjective, almost because there is some other things that go into place that I'll talk about at the end of this video but pretty much you're probably asking why is the knee a bad thing now the reason why is because obviously the leech part but it's also people that just refuse to look for work unfortunately that's come to a lot of lifestyles for some people and it really is awful there are some needs that even like disrespect people that are working they're like oh and it's like, what the f dude, what is your problem? <laughs> Look, these people are out here having to pay their bills and shit in order to freaking live. And you're here dissing on them like that. Like, nah, dude, nah. What is the problem with it? It's usually the people that obviously are all those things, right? And it's pretty self-explanatory and it's very easy to kind of diss on them. And unfortunately, it's one of those things that's kind of a complicated issue because there are some people that don't have a choice in doing them. And I'll go and I'll just talk about it pretty briefly, but I'll kind of save it for the video. Pretty much, I, I've, I myself kind of created like a whole subset of it. There are the people that choose to be neat out of circumstance which they have no choice to but to become a neat and it, this can go from many things and this other one is neat by choice right and these are the people that you know kind of deserve this that coming to the sun now my story right and why am i bringing this video up type of thing well unfortunately i have succumbed to being a neat and unfortunately <laughs> You know, obviously I'm not here to be like stay and eat permanently. I'm trying my best not to. And, uh, you know, so unfortunately I got laid off of my job about two months ago. And it really sucks. It really sucks. And um, I've been having to kind of look for work now. And, you know, it hasn't been easy. You know, I went through like a dozen jobs and none of them came back. <laughs> kind of sucks. And even the one that did come back, well, I, I had COVID during the time. and the, Or I was exposed to COVID during the time. And then I eventually got it by the time I was like, hey, I could do an interview. <laughs> that was like a whole subset in itself. And yeah, and I unfortunately during that time of having COVID and all that things, like luckily I was asymptomatic or whatever because I didn't feel it at all. But apparently I tested positive. So it was kind of a it was kind of an experience, you know. And there was one of those things where I just had to like stay inside for like the very longest time and I couldn't get out and it really sucked. And even the times I had to get out, I had to pretty much wear a hazmat suit. <laughs> I'm just getting there. But like it, it was, it was kind of like the gist of it. Basically also gotten like a little longboard crash. <laughs> kind of uh, kind of made me uh, a little paralyzed a little bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now it actually like really messed up my legs and then I also got like some road rash on my uh, torso here, my back and my shoulder. So it, it, it kind of sucked. But that's beyond the whole topic. That's pretty much the sum of my story and how I'm trying not to be an eat. And unfortunately, the past few days, you know, I've spent like literally in this room, like working all day on like on updating my portfolio and all that. And, you know, at the beginning, I was able to just redo my resume a bit, you know, keep it up to date. And unfortunately, in the portfolio, I kind of lagged on. So I had to really pay the price for that, and that's not something I'd want to do again. <laughs> it's it's really a pain, and even then, you know, I still have to put some work into it, so it's not over, but at least most of it's gone now. So there's a subtype of needs that I kind of learned to categorize a bit, and um, one of them is circumstance and choice. Hey, future 
Daniel edit here. I forgot to mention the gray area that I began to notice with the two options, and it's the people who have major social anxieties. I don't have much experience dealing with social anxieties, however, the one thing I can see the potential in is the new ability to do work remotely and doing school online. Doing work remotely has only began to flourish since the pandemic started, which makes me believe that there is a double-edged sword with that topic. However, back to the video. It, it's one of those things that you have to kind of take into consideration when you're talking about the neat culture and all that stuff, right? Because, um, yeah, I mean, you can obviously diss me, and, and that's fine. I diss myself all the time for being a neat right now, and it sucks. <laughs> you know, being the neat lifestyle sucks. You know, what is the lifestyle that goes on it? I mean, there's a lot of things that go into it. And unfortunately, with being a regular neat, like, it just sucks, all right? And the thing is, is that you should always in life be able to kind of accomplish things on your own, learn how to be independent, learn how to challenge yourself, really. And uh, that's one of the things about like some people that are needs, but like they have no choice but to be a neat. And, you know, they, they learn how to take life as a challenge and things like that. Like those are the people I have more like empathy towards versus someone who just stays home all day and then just like doesn't do anything their life like like it, it's that's where people view this idea of being a leech all right it sucks it really sucks and the unfortunate part about it is that you know they're in denial <laughs> they're denying themselves of being able to do anything you know because it's like why would i need to do anything i'm just gonna sit home here all day and just kind of like relax well, the problem is, is that when you relax too much and you don't have enough challenging stimulation in your whole like system, you just, you just go through a whole phase of depression and it, it's, it's awful. It is really awful, but that's, that's another story from another time. <laughs> this is my first time ever actually being a legit neat. And, um, it's kind of interesting, you know, going through that process, but at the same time, I'm really resenting like not looking for a job more earlier you know i should have planned like probably two or three months ahead but instead i've planned the day after i got laid off and you know that that, that tells something about myself that i wasn't doing right in life you know i definitely did see the layoff coming but i didn't know when it was specifically but i knew the the sort of broad time stamp of it so unfortunately that's that's where i've succumbed to and um i should have definitely looked into other jobs like way beforehand because yeah the hiring process takes a while all right sometimes employers won't go back to you for for like a whole month and they will only be like nope you don't got this job <laughs> it kind of sucks it sucks to deal with that and you know unfortunately I, I'm putting myself in under circumstances because I'm not refusing looking for work. I will never want to do that because I'm a person who's like, I need to have money. I need to pay bills. I need to do this. You know, I don't want to be stuck here and just being like this, this fucking leech. Like, like what the fuck? <laughs> and uh, it's one of those things that you really have to take into consideration. Like, you, you know, you want to be challenging yourself all the time. You don't want to be, you know, just succumbing to this idea of like oh i don't need to challenge myself oh i i don't need to do anything i just, just depend off someone else to do everything for me and you know that that's 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 very selfish in a way you know that people definitely need to take consideration of because needs are you know it's subjective of depending on what position that they are in but usually the people that refuse work and the people that like diss people and calling them wage people or whatever, it's like, no, bro. I mean, you have to make money at the end of the day. It's unfortunate reality of like, of life, you know? And, you know, unfortunately I've succumbed to it, but you know, I've tried to use my time wisely, you know, learning how to get better work, learning how to kind of move on from just being like sitting at home all day and just doing nothing like i'm like even this content right now I, i'm like yeah i'm at least doing something productive right <laughs> and the reason why you should be doing this to avoid being a neat is so that when shit hits the fan you'll be ready for it 
you know there will be a moment in your life even for those needs of that out there like there will be a moment in your life where you're gonna have to take care of your own self and you won't be able to like depend on others to help you through that and you know for those people who are doing this out of circumstance like that they have no choice but to become a need you know and if you guys are improving yourselves you know i i give you you know all the empathy here because pretty much i will give all the empathy for the people that don't have a choice but to become a need all right and what i mean not having a choice is obviously having to take care of someone else or they gotten laid off of their job which you know yeah and unfortunately that's something that you know it's a part of life there will be a time where you you'd have to work and it's going to be something that's like for those people who never worked a day in their life like it's going to be very hard so yeah deep thought there <laughs> anyways i just wanted to make this video pretty quickly because i think i've been meaning to kind of tell this for a while and you know there's going to be controversy about this you know i think people are definitely going to diss on it but this is just my opinion and there are some facts factual evidence here you know <laughs> i mean it just depends on person to person but usually the people that are being a knee out of circumstance are probably 10 times more responsible than a person who's being a knee out of choice <laughs> you know and for that i have empathy for you know it's it's something that's out of your own control you have no control over that and it sucks but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys like the video and if you don't well, dislike it the dislike button is still there but return the dislike <laughs> anyways i'll see you guys later take care Thank you.